Hey guys, thanks for checking out my channel and thanks for checking out this video. In this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the differences between the CPA and the CMA. Now, I've seen this video done quite a few times on YouTube already, but in this video, I'm going to try to take a bit of a different approach and I'm going to try to tell you very quickly uh, the answer to the question that I was asking when I was trying to decide which one was right for me. So let me start by saying I'm a certified management accountant. That's what I chose to do. I also am eligible uh, to sit for the CPA, but I am not a certified public accountant. So in my experience, one of the, uh, the key differences between the CMA uh, and the folks who decide to go and get the CPA are really, where is it that you wanna be down the road, right? So if you're one of those people, I'm probably oversimplifying this, I definitely am, but if you're really one of those people that's very much uh, the traditional accounting mindset type of person, um, you know, you want to get involved with tax, you want to get involved with auditing, um, you know, just really a more of a retrospective type of person. You're really big into ticking and tying and um, that whole thing. Then you're really more what I call an accounting uh, mindset type person. The CPA is probably the route for you because you're gonna be successful in a role um, that is really more just strictly accounting, right? On the CMA side, it's, it's a little different. Obviously, there's a heavy, heavy accounting focus, but it's more on um, analyzing the business and trying to find insights and you know, move the business forward, if you will. Okay, so there's definitely some overlap between the two. Um, and so the reason I chose the certified management accountant route was because I felt like that it complemented well um, my MBA, which was you know, really the focus of being more of a leader within business and trying to think of being more of a forward-looking um, individual. And the CMA definitely complements it uh, has complemented my other skill set very well in terms of just understanding finance overall and understanding the role that it plays and um, how you know um, everything everything touches finance and and that sort of thing. So um, if you are um, interested in that taking that route, then I would strongly recommend looking into the CMA. Um, now, like I said, I am eligible to sit for the CPA. And one of the only reasons that I even, I had to go back to school uh, to get a few more classes to become eligible for the C, to sit for the CPA. One of the only reasons I even did that was is because um, the CPA, if you're not aware, is like, it's like the gold standard in accounting. And part of that is because it's just so old. Um, it's so long standing and recognized. And so a lot of people that are not, are not um, overly versed within the finance world, if you will, when they think about, okay, who are the experts in accounting and finance? Oftentimes, the CPA, those with CPAs are the first that come to, come to mind, right? And so a lot of roles that you'll still see even today, you'll see CPA required or CPA preferred. In my experience, a CPA is not always uh, necessary in those roles, but again, just that matter of perception Again, the, one of the reasons I went and made sure that I'm now CPA eligible is because at, down the road, if there's some role that comes up that maybe I know it doesn't necessarily, you don't need a CPA to sit in that role and be successful because the company requires that. CPA has a lot of clout um, that other certifications do not have just because it's, it's been around so long uh, and that sort of thing. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, I hope it helped to answer a little bit about whether or not you should get the CPA or the CMA. Uh, if you want to know more of the technical details about you know, what the requirements are, becoming eligible, and that sort of thing, um, let me know and I may do a video for you for that, but there are a lot of videos and a lot of literature out there on the internet that covers that stuff pretty well in detail. So that's my two cents. Look forward to your feedback on this video and uh, you guys have a great day.